Hello, I am Greg Farnham, and I am in the film program. I interviewed Heather Hamilton, a professor at Minnesota State University in Mankato, Department of Theater and Dance. Question 1. What do you see as the role of visual arts in our mass-mediated world, and particularly in your profession? The visual arts are the backbone of modern media. As a professor of theater, I have found that my students are less literate than in past years and more reliant on fast-paced imagery. They're also less likely to be engaged by texts and more interested in visuals. While this is no surprise to anyone in education, it does put me in an interesting position, since theater is both visual and text-based. I frequently find myself trying to balance my need to emphasize the importance of text while not belittling the visual art. Question 2. With new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on the industry? As an educator, I can only celebrate the increasingly accessibility of visual arts. I am able to call up imagery on my computer in response to a student's questions right in the middle of lectures. I understand that this can create financial complications outside of academia, but for me, the accessibility is only a positive. Question 3. What popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled throughout the entertainment industry? Classic works like the Mona Lisa, movie, movie images that are referenced in homages or parodies like The Shining. Question 4. There are particular images that this industry has popularized and or created. Of course, memes are frequently created and popularized through the visual arts. Question 5. Who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? That's a hard question. I really like P.T. Anderson's film art. I love Marcel Duchamp's painting. I love Andy Goldsworthy's photograph, photography. As far as style goes, I'm pretty eclectic in my taste. My favorite stuff is really dependent on my mood. Question 6. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? I find certain images and moods in visual art haunting, and definitely try to create the same effect, using different techniques in my own direction.